With my final Saturday in North Dakota, eight teams competing for just four spots in the Dakota Bowl next week. And it looks like it'll be a new team at the top in the new 11B division. Bishop Ryan on the road trying to take down HCV. Burroughs leads 7 0 in the first. Riley Olson dropping a dime in for Gannon Lemke, making a fantastic catch for the touchdown. 13 0 Burroughs after the missed PAT later in the first. Hillsborough again. Olson breaking through the defense, ripping off a long 50 yard run. Burroughs starting to run away with it, 20 to nothing, and the quarter is still not over. Olson this time from short distance, punching it in. Hillsborough up 27 nothing there, but the Burroughs roll on with a 49 to 12 win. So who will they face? Kindred hosting the Bowen County Bulldogs to find out the answer to that. Vikings wasting no time on the opening drive after a safety. Max McQuillan connects with Max Opgren up the middle. The 34-yard touchdown makes it 9 to nothing. Kindred, the very next Vikings drive. Handoff goes to the go-to. That's Trey Heineck on the two-yard touchdown. Kindred up 16, and the defense just as dominant. Quade Lardy trying to get something going, but he's sacked on third down by Mason Nipstad, and Kindred is going to its second Dakota Bowl in school history. Now over to the nine-man side of things. Going into today, all four of these teams undefeated, almost unheard of at this point in the season at any level. We start with New Salem Allmont and Cavalier picking it up in overtime, all tied at 28. Holstein's down to fourth and goal from the one. Ty Wolding, the QB sneak, following that big offensive line to make it 34-28. They line up for the two-point conversion. Wolding to Weston Kuhn, but he can't come up with it, so the ball goes to Cavalier. Tornadoes in a fourth and one situation. Bryson Clem takes it himself to the outside. The extra extension gets the touchdown. We're tied at 34. Tornadoes can win it on the two point conversion. They go to the air this time. Clem hits Landon Carter, and that's the difference maker. Cavalier wins 36 34 to head to the Dakota Bowl for the third straight year. To the other Class 9B semifinal, a battle of unbeatens with Lamore Litchville Marion hosting Botno. First quarter, the pitch out to Jacob Shriver at the goal line, dives forward and finds Pater. The two point try won't go, but the Braves lead 6 0. From then on, Corbin Potts takes over. The Lobo quarterback in the same quarter finding Charlie Bowman, who walks in the end zone. Lobos up 8 6. Second quarter is where we go now. Once is nice, twice is even better. Potts again to Bowman. This one extending the Lobos' lead, and they hang on from there to win it 20 6.